Look, I don't have any money, if that's what you're looking for. Started. Oh, me too. Are we early? It is nine. They should be open. Kind of nervous to start. Well, less nervous, more so excited. I'm sort of a huge fan of the Doyles. I'm obsessed with their fertilizer. They've won so many awards for it. I'd love to know what they put in and how it works so well. See, I just graduated my master's in biotechnology. I want to travel the world and become a biotechnologist, but that takes a lot of money. What about you? What about me? <laughs> Why are you here? Did you go to college? Dropped out of college in my first semester. Got a job instead. Got fired from that job, so here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. Broke the truck. Hello. So you must be Orla. Yep, that's right. And then you must be Sil. Yes, it's a pleasure. My wife has told me so much about Japanese stuff. Let's come on, shall we? Follow me along. Welcome to Bud Elman's Garden Centre. Can I just say what an honour it is to be here, uh, to meet you? <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. You and your wife are killing the horticultural world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd bring you both to Nula now. Follow me. Feel free to make yourselves tea or coffee at any time. If you need anything from me, you should probably ask Nula first. Oh, girls, great to see you again. Oh. <laughs> Hello again, darling. Uh, I hope you haven't started without me. I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, run along now. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll get started, so. I don't know if you're aware or not, but the demand for our fertiliser has grown a lot recently. And we're in need of extra hands around the place while we work on it. And poor Emmett has been working overtime recently. Oh, I don't mind at all, Nula. Uh, Jesus Christ, Emmett. What do we say about lurking like that? Oh, right. Sorry about that, Nula. Run along, sweetie, and start stocking the shelves. Don't run with the scissors, oh, for God's sake. Oh, so sorry about that, girls. He's always lurking like that. Oh, he's harmless. Uh, now, where were you we? You were talking about your fertilizer. May I ask, what is your secret? 
Well, now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Orla, we'll most likely have you on the tills, serving customers and stocking chow, since you've experience in that. Cool, oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, girls, follow me. Oh, it's taken us years to build up this place. It's absolutely my favourite. My shrub area, then my fruit trees, my miniature roses. Oh, Sylvia, this is where you'll be situated. Is that each other soon? It is indeed. This is where we grow our plants to sell to our lovely customers. Oh, it's wonderful. It really is. What's in there? Why is it all blocked off? Oh my god, is this where you guys make the fertilizer? Yes, dear, but this shed is totally off limits. I was gonna suggest I can maybe help you guys out with the fertilizer. I'd love to learn more about it and study it. Look, by no means are either of you two to set foot inside this shed, okay? Absolutely. <sighs> Look, if you want to get your bags and bring them into the break room and put on the aprons that are waiting for you there. Orla, if you want to hop on the tills, and Sylvia, if you want to start watering the plants in the nursery, please, that would be super. Will do. <laughs> Took me two stabs to get the job done. I still think hiring them is a bad idea. I told you not to worry about them. That girl Orla couldn't even pretend to pay attention after five minutes. Excuse me. Can you tell me? I'm on my break. But Sylvia is so nosy. How can I not worry when she keeps asking questions about everything we're doing? Oh, as long as we keep her occupied, we'll be okay, darling. What if she gets suspicious? She might catch us out. How can she catch us out? No one has noticed what we're doing so far. Not even Emmett. I'm just bringing it up. It's something we need to discuss properly. Keep her in line. Keep her occupied. The other girl we can deal with. Darling, everything you are thinking right now I have already thought through. You leave it all to me, okay? Eamon, what's going on with the grinder? I'm not sure. Something must be jamming the gears. What did you throw into it? What do you think I threw in, Eamon? The same fucking thing as always. Name. Do not tell me I am the only one covered in blood here. <laughs> Find out what did this to me right now. Sweetheart, I told you, you need to cut the bones up smaller. Well, I told you to research whether that grinder could cut through bone before you bought it. How could I forget to ask the man who sold it to me whether he could cut her bones? Funnily enough, Nula, I didn't want to ask him that. Don't you dare talk to me like that, you little prick! How long will it take you to fix this? Grinder's motor has broken down. It'll take a couple of hours to get everything up and running again. God, he's starting to stink. You need to move him to the freezer before somebody notices. How am I supposed to move it out without being noticed? The girls should still be at their stations. We can get back to the house without anyone noticing. What if someone does notice? If anyone does notice us, sweetheart, I'm going to stab them with this fucking trowel, okay? Okay, let's go. Hello? I'm here, miss. Anybody? I'm here, miss. How can I help you? Can you double check if these are other ones' bulbs? 
Um, I really don't know. How do you not know? You work here, right? Yeah, well, I just started and it didn't occur to me to learn about every flower in this place. You are extremely rude, young woman. Don't think I won't mention you to the Doyles when I talk to them next. Okay, and have a great day, miss. You're not supposed to be on your phone. Jesus, don't be sneaking up on people. Fuck off and bother someone else. Mr. Doyle. Sylvia, what is it now? I just had a couple of questions about the fertilizer, if that's alright. It's 4.30. I'm getting sick of all these questions. Can you not just do the job where you're being paid to do? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Keep her in line, keep her occupied, keep her in the nurseries. Now you get it, sweetheart. Oh, hi, Orla. How did we do today, dear? Well, Miss Doyle. Oh, Nula. Well, Nula. About the fertilizer. What about the fertilizer, Orla? I think we did pretty well. I had to make a reservation list. We ran out pretty quickly. Folks kept asking about it. Oh, this is fantastic. And well done today. Um, if you're finished closing up, you can head off for the day. So I finished up in the greenhouse and locked up for today. Is that all right? Perfect. I took a look at your work in the nurseries today, and I must say, I'm very impressed. Looks like you could be a permanent addition to those greenhouses. Thanks. <laughs> well, are you heading off? Yeah, you coming? See you tomorrow, Nula. <laughs> See you, girls. Okay, I think the grinder is up and running now. Good. Go load up the car. We have to go out again tonight. Oh, this is getting out of hand. We can't go collecting this amount of bodies without someone noticing. Sweetheart, what did I say about leaving the thinking up to me? Now go and do what I asked, okay? You shouldn't let him yell at you like that, even if he's stressed out. Don't? No. I couldn't believe it. I just had a few questions I wanted to ask. I spent the whole day weeding and his pot of flowers and he snaps at me. At least you were alone. I had Emmett stalk me all day. Pervert! So I would have loved to have been away from it all. I spent the day on the floor. I must have caught him at the wrong time. Still, so I didn't think he had it in him to even shout. You think Nula would do that for him? Well, they both seem so lovely and I don't want to mess this up. Are you getting the bus too? Uh, no, I got some shit to take care of. You in tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. Cool. See ya. Connor? Connor, you here? Hey, y yeah, no joy. Yeah, he said he'd be down here the last time. Well, I can try again after work tomorrow, okay? Okay, see ya. 